One man seen enough of the filth and the grit of the street. Where's my fucking money? Seen enough of the pimps and the pushers and the hookers and the strippers and the liars and the sinners who take his name in vain with every waking breath. People come here to enjoy themselves. Look at a little pussy. Buy a little coke. Hell, maybe even buy a little pussy. Ain't that right, honey? And he's gonna do something about it. With a hammer. In the name of Jesus. Harlan, come out. Show yourself like you show yourself to everyone else. Cross bearer. Jesus Christ. Serial murder. See it. Or maybe he'll see you. I silence you now in his name. Frostbearer. You just killed my steady pussy. It's time to kill. What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? How's it going? It's, I've been gone. It's been a long hiatus. No new reviews up, so I'm going to get this over with. I want to do a video today. Today's the day. I am reviewing Adam Albrand's Crossbearer. Crossbearer has been out for a long ass time uh, and recently has been put out by Totag Pictures, so buy your copy and check it out. Crossbearer is a great film. It's a, it's a dark slasher film. Well, it has a lot of great religious imagery and audio incorporating the film. It has great kills with the hammer. The character uses a hammer. When you see that in the slasher film, never. So the hammer is a selling point. Acting's great by some of the people. Natalie Jean does a great job, and Bunny do a great job, and Harry, the boss of the Shrek, does a great job, and Mark, Mark too. Mark's just the fucking, just a dumbass amateur filmmaker who makes porn for himself and <laughs> watches it with some sluts. <laughs> I need a champion to box my pussy. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> He's got the boxing gloves. It, 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 it's just, Mark's such a dorky character. You see some extras porn he makes in the film. So, yeah, it's a great film. It does have a few issues, though. It has some jump cuts. Some audio gets caught off at some points during the film. But, you know, it's an indie, it's an independent film. And, you know, timing and, you know, getting it done is a factor. So you do, what, you do what you can. Use the resources you can to make the best films you can. That's what Crossbearer is. Crossbearer is about this guy. He's a serial killer. He stalks a pimp who treats women like shit. He stalks them. He stalks them around. Follows the the girls around. And one night he takes care of business. He decides to kill one of the pimp's friends who's snorting coke, and while handling a, a bong at the same time and throwing up on the pimp's girlfriend. There's like you see green ooze vomiting all over her ass. And he takes care of him by fucking getting him in the hammer, getting him in the head with the hammer. Boom! Cuts right there to the scene. He's all tied up. With a gag with a do rag, a white do rag, and he's all bloody and begging for his life, and gets his ass knocked out. So after the after this, we are introduced to another character, Natalie Jean. Natalie Jean and Bunny are lesbian lovers; they're a couple in a relationship. Uh, Natalie Jean hates her life; she doesn't like being a stripper. Her and Bunny want to escape and have a great life. They want to go to Greece. They want to have a wonderful life and be wonderful, hot, beautiful lesbians. So, you, you see Natalie go to work in the strip club. There's a lot of scenes of tits and ass and, oh my god, I just want to... <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, Natalie has a rough night at work. She, she punches a guy, you know, because he's harassing her, treating her like shit. And her boss, Harry, doesn't like that. No, no, no. He just treats her like shit while, he, while he's getting a blowjob from another stripper, you know, doing coke, having a little fun. He ridicules her, tells her the policies of the club, and tells her, hey, let's let's put you in a situation of a drug deal, even though you never dealed coke before in your life, okay? So she's supposed to deliver the coke, get the money from the pimp, get out, all ends well. Nope. It does not happen. She goes with other people from the club, including Mark. They all go. They wait in the car for the deal. And inside the building, 
Not a, it's not a spoiler, but you see the pimp get killed and the two hosies would get killed. So, yeah, they get their asses kicked and once they go in for the deal, he's got them right where he wants them. Basically, their mice stuck in a maze and he's got to fuck them up with a hammer. I'm not going to spoil any kills, but the effects are great with the hammer. Like I said, it's a great film. Natalie Jean does a great job. I think you really feel for a character in Bunny. You want him to have a happy life, but, you know, it just doesn't, you know... Films like this don't have a happy ending. I'm not going to ruin the ending or anything else that happens, but you see a lot of killing, and you see a lot of foreshadowing with, with, with uh, Bunny, with her character, what happens to her. You see foreshadowing. That's all I'm going to get into uh, in that perspective. But it's a great film. Uh, like I said, great great camera work with, with uh, Cross Bear stalking the women and the pimp with the, with his uh, black and white you know, picture quality, handy cam, you know, stalking them, great kills, you know, great, great story, I think it's overall great, I do wish though that it had more scenery, like more stuff than just a basement, than just, not a basement, but, but the run down, you know, apartment complex, but what can you do, but budgetary constraints happen, and you know, issues happen on set with any film, especially independent films, you only get so much money, you could incorporate all that you can, and you know, you still try to make the best movie you can, and that's what you get with Cross Bear, like I said before. So, Cross Bear, I enjoyed it. I recommend people check it out, buy it. I'm not going to ruin anything for you. What happens once they enter the abandoned complex? I'm not going to ruin anything, but there's a lot of religious overtones and there's a lot of cuts with a lot of religious imagery and there's some issues with the camera and the audio, but what can you do? Overall, it's a great film. I haven't seen Adam's other work yet, but I'm definitely willing to check out anything else, so I'll try to buy more of his stuff in the future. Um, Everyone, I think, pretty much has talked about this film. I'm not going to ruin anything. So, yeah, Cross Bear, this is still available on Toe Tag. I don't know how many copies are left, but mine's uh, 112 out of 1,666 copies. So, definitely check it out while you can. Get this at Toe Tag. Support Adam. You know, support Fred Vogel. It's really awesome that... Adam got something from a company like Totex, so he's getting well established out there. He's going to horror conventions and stuff and promoting the Sadist, Hunters, Cemetery, whatever else he's got planned in his future. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing one more of what this guy does. Adam, thumbs up. Natalie Jean, thumbs up. Bunny, thumbs up. Fucking everybody to thumb thumbs up. Not going to ruin much for you. Just check it out. Great film. This is spoiler free. So here's the back. See the bodies there. So yeah. I haven't done a video in a while, so forgive me if I'm not going to detail a lot or whatever. I just I'm just busy with stuff. So enough of that bullshit. Cross bear, check it out. Highly recommend it. I'm done. So that's out of the way. I will be back with some new films. I got a 100 tears. My name is A by Anonymous from Shane Ryan. Uh, I'll try to do a video when I can. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much done here. I'll I'll post a new video tomorrow for my video editing class. So I'll I'll post reviews here and there, but not all the time since I'm so busy. So in the meantime, I'll post some stuff I do in my editing class to keep you all busy and entertained. So I'll see y'all later. You guys have a good day.